American Impressionism on display. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Scott Schweikert. He is the Curator of Art and Civilization for the Reading Public Museum. Thanks so much for being with us. Good to see you. A real pleasure, Jill. Thanks. These are some incredible paintings, but they're all part of the collection of the Reading Public Museum, and for the first time, you're putting them on display together. Right, that's right. It'll be over 100 works, about 75 oil paintings, uh, about 30 works on paper, including etchings and watercolors. So it's a great chance for us to showcase sort of the golden age of collecting at the museum. Um, really, a lot of these works came into the museum from the 19-teens to about the late 1930s. So it's, it's a real slice of uh, our history. Now let's talk about the, the, this collection because it's called American Impressionism, the lore of the artist's colony. Talk to us about the idea of an artist's colony because this was really a pull for artists to come together, particularly during the summer months, and work as a collective, bounce ideas off of each other. That's exactly right. Uh, it, for them, it was sort of an escape from their city studios. Uh, it was a chance for them to explore other subject matters, uh, namely the landscapes. Uh, these colonies were usually located at really picturesque locations, um, so they had great inspiration all around them, uh, beautiful harbors, waterways, uh, rolling hills, those sorts of things, and the opportunity for new clients as well. Many of them also took the opportunity to take on students during the summer, so uh, they were able to interact with other artists, teach their craft. Um, and it's a great way for our visitors to try to understand um, the, the way that art was uh, conducted at that time, the way uh, the business worked and the way that the artists actually had their, their practical day-to-day -day working was. So it's, it's kind of a nice insight. Now these were located, um, some of them as close as New Hope in Bucks County in Pennsylvania, um, several of them in uh, Connecticut and uh, into Massachusetts and Cape Cod. Uh, but some of them as far away as Taos, New Mexico, and uh, Laguna in California. So it was sort of a trend at this time period. So again, that's a, another focus of the show, is to, is to bring uh, attention to these artist colonies. And these works range from the 1880s through the 1940s, so we're really getting a range in time period as well. That's right, yeah. So sort of the beginnings of American Impressionism really influenced by the French Impressionists that we're also familiar with, artists like Monet and Manet and Degas, um, and uh, the, the sort of style crossed the Atlantic and uh, was picked up by the Americans, right? But as, uh, as, as with most things, artists worked in this style throughout the rest of their careers, so it does move into the 30s and even into the 40s. So some beautiful paintings, and many people, when they see Impressionist paintings, just fall in love with them because they're so lovely and they're so picturesque. But when we talk about the painters themselves, you have some big names in American Impressionism in this collection. Exactly right. John Singer Sargent, William Merritt Chase, uh, who was, in addition to being a great painter, was also a renowned um, teacher and took on lots of students. Mary Cassatt is another artist, uh, Edward Redfield, um, uh, John Twachtman, some real uh, icons of the movement will be on view at the museum. I think folks will really be surprised and uh, pleasantly pleased by uh, what's on the walls. And now, some people who have visited the museum in the past may have seen one or two of these paintings in, in isolation. But for the first time, you're putting them all together. What is it like to see them as a collective? It's great. Well, actually, uh, I've only seen images of them all together. So physically, uh, it will be a revelation for me, too, because it will be the first time that the, the galleries are hung where they're side by side. And uh, it's going to be interesting, I think, to see the relationships between um, how, they, uh, how they look on the wall and how they work together. So really almost creating your own artist colony at the museum? <laughs> right, right. It's a good way to think about it. But yeah, I think it's, it's an opportunity for, it's a rare opportunity really for, for folks to see just how deep our holdings are in this area. So we're very proud of it. And all of this happens at the Reading Public Museum, and it runs through January 29th, so an opportunity to see some of really the most important painters in American Impressionism. That's right. Don't miss the show. All right. All of it <laughs> happens through January 29th at the Reading Public Museum. Thanks for being with us, Scott. Sure. Real pleasure. We've been talking with Scott Schweikert, Curator of Art and Civilization at the Reading Public Museum. I'm Jill Horner.